Hello again. Determine the moment of force f about the x, the y, and the z axis. Solve the problem of using both a scalar and a vector analysis. Alright. Let's look at the figure. Let's look at the figure and we immediately we immediately see this these triangles. Alright, let's oops. Let's get the components of vector f. So the components of vector f are going to be so what is the component of vector f along the z axis first? It's going to be so sine theta. Let's get a color. So sine theta is going to be three fifths. Sine theta is going to be three fifths, meaning opposite. The opposite side is going to be three, and the hypotenuse is going to be five. And that also means that 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 also means that the hypotenuse, which is 500, let's say z, this is the ratio between, this will be the ratio between the z and the, the z component of the, of the force and I guess you can say the magnitude of the force or the overall overall thing overall force component so let's write it down it's going to be 3 fifths 500 it's going to be let's see 3 3 fifths 500 which is 300 300 that's going to be the first component the second component is either an x or a y, but let's get the component of the xy plane first, which is in the color green. This is a component of the xy of the xy plane. All right, of the xy plane, and we see it's going to be four fifths of four fifths of four fifths four fifths of five hundred otherwise known as four hundred all right so we know it's going to be four hundred times something the x component is going to be negative with respect to this to this i don't know axis axis so the x component is negative so we know that it's going to be negative overall so it's so the side that the side the side which in which the x axis is in ratio is in ratio with the overall the overall x y axis is 3 so we multiply it by 3 fifths and we have the other one which is the other the other component which is the y-axis which is four fifths of four hundred so let's write that down here it's going to be negative four hundred three fifths so five so four hundred divided by five is eighty eighty times three is negative is 240 so negative 240 and we have 80 times 4 is 320 so let's get another color and write 320 those are the components of the force vector yellow all right so we would want also forgot the units i think it's in newtons is it in Newton's? Yes. 
So, now we should get the components of, of our, our OA, our OA, our OA, so we can take the cross product between them. Our OA is equal to, it went, it went left by 2 meters the x-axis which is negative 2 meters negative 2 it went 2 meters up in the y-axis so 2 and 3 meters up in the z-axis so 3 now that's in meters now we take the cross product for the vector analysis all right let's take the cross product so in yellow we have negative 240 or nah. so we have i hat j hat k hat maybe shouldn't have written it in yellow but but nothing so negative 240 we have 320 as well and we have 300 and no it's r cross f my bad it's r cross f it's r cross f it's r cross f so sorry <laughs> it's r cross f so it's negative 2 negative 2 2 and 3 and we have for the orange color negative 240 uh 320 and 300 now we take the determinant of the cross of those vectors which is this of course so we have 2 times 300 we have 600 minus 960 that's going to be the i hat component and we have minus parenthesis open parenthesis we have negative 2 times 300 negative 600 negative 600 minus 3 times negative 240 is 7 is negative 720 so minus negative 720 minus negative 720 j hat and finally we have the k hat component which is we're getting too far from the determinant which is a uh, negative 2 times negative 2 times 320 is negative 640 yeah, negative 640. We have negative 640 minus negative 640 minus uh, 2 times negative 240, negative 280, so minus negative 480, so minus negative 480, and we have k hat. So what does this all all evaluate to? So this is going to be let's let's switch colors, switch, switch, switch colors. This is going to evaluate to 960 minus 600 is 360, three negative 360, negative 360 I hat minus. Uh, 720 minus 600 is 120, and that, yep, so negative 120J, and plus, plus what's that, negative 640 minus, minus, now plus 480, which is, I can't do quick maths. All right, so 640 minus 480 is negative 160. Negative 160. 
So this is negative 160. This is negative negative 160 k hat direction. So we have to in individually box them, not necessarily, but I like to do that. So for the x axis, you have this component. This is the moment. For the y axis, you have this negative 120 and for the z axis where are you z axis and for the z axis you have this with with this funky color all right now we do the scalar analysis which is quite similar so let's get Let's stay on the same side, I guess. So let's get the X component first. So MX with this color. I haven't used that color yet, I think. It's going to be the determinant, I guess you can say. The determinant of the components that are, that are not X. So that's going to be... Is e easier that's going to be easier said than done. Uh, so the components that aren't x is going to be so r first, of course, 2 and 3 and 320 and 300. So white 2 and 3 and 320 and 300, right? 320 and 300 in this color, 320. And 300 in this color so the moment about the x-axis according to this with this color with this color is going to be 2 times 300 600 minus 3 times 320 it's going to be 960 of course this this is all going to be in Newton meters not writing down the units that's a bad practice i guess so this is going to be negative 360 newton meters let's box this answer oh no okay let's complete the square in this case a rectangle <laughs> Alright, the moment about the y-axis, uh, the moment about the y-axis, no y, that's all we know, the moment about the y-axis is negative 2 and 3, I believe, so x and c of the ROA component, and, and what's the other one? Negative 240 and 300. Alright. So negative 240 and 300. So we have n we have negative 600 minus negative minus negative 720, which I think is is 120 one, 120 that's outrageous 120 all right 120 must have something wrong over there 120 newton meters and we have MC with this color is equal to the, the determinant of the non z axis. We have negative 2 and 2, and we have um, oh, negative 240 and 300, no, and 320. 
so now we have negative so now we have negative 2 times 320 which is negative 640 and we have minus minus 2 times negative 240 which is negative 480 negative 480 which is 160 negative 160 newton meters and that those are the answers i don't know where i got where i went wrong with the 120 newton meters part i guess i have to double check all right let's double check or earlier so that's going to be positive that's positive and that's negative huh must have done something wrong so negative 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 huh. must have done something wrong uh, probably, and uh, probably it's supposed to be negative. And now we have negative. Alright, see you in the next one.